The days of searching for the best math centers or the math games are long gone because now you can make your own. Hey teachers, so excited that you're here for another Pencil Talk and I have got an amazing resource to share with you today. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever been scrolling on Teachers Pay Teachers or Pinterest or Google and you're trying to find the perfect math game for your students to play with a specific skill and you can't find one? It stinks. I've been there. I absolutely hate it. I get so frustrated. I'm like, I just want a game that they can play with a partner to practice this, this math skill. Well, I got a solution for you now. I have created editable math games that you can type in your own math problems and directions to make a math game perfect for your students. So they're all different kinds and I'm gonna show you some of them right now. One of my absolute favorite games to play with my students was the rolling cover. So basically the students roll a die and wherever, um, whichever number shows up, there will be a problem or something to identify uh, in that square. They must solve it or identify it correctly. And when they get it correct, they cover it up and so on. And they basically are kind of competing with themselves as far as which number is going to win. So you are going to be able to type your own directions and you are going to be able to type and fill um, every single square with your own problems. This is a fantastic way to help differentiate for your students. So maybe if you have a few students who need to do, let's say, addition or subtraction with regrouping and the rest of the class is working on without, you easily can make two quick versions of the same game. So this one is a really great one. You can have them do with partners or independent. Absolutely perfect. Another one is, of course, a tic-tac-toe. Who doesn't love playing tic-tac-toe? So again, this one, you get to type your own directions and fill in your own problems. A student would play tic-tac-toe with a partner, and the first one to get three in a row wins the game. Who doesn't love dabbits, like the bingo dabbers? Like, kids love these, right? So I made a bingo, bingo dabber board that you can use, again, to create your own math game. So you'll type in the directions at the top and you put in your problems down below. And as they solve them, if they are correct, then they get to dab with a bingo dabber that circle. And the circles are the perfect size for a bingo dabber. I've, I've played with these many times before. My kids love them. But another one of my favorites is the match and clip. So this is where you would type in your directions and then you would fill in the squares on the outside and then you would actually have closed pins that have a, an answer or a name of something that they're identifying uh, written on the closed pin. And so the students then clip and identify each of the squares. So for example, maybe they're doing equivalent fractions. So you have one fraction typed in here and then you have other fractions written on the clothespins and they have to match their equivalent fraction. So they would match them all around the board um, as a great hands-on, super fun and easy center. They check their work and they can move on. Again, independent practice or partner, up to you. Another one of my favorites, I absolutely love this one, is called a mystery picture. So basically you are going to get a grid like this that you are going to fill in with problems. And as they solve them, you are going to have the students actually place the pieces on top to create a mystery picture. So I wish I could hold obviously every single piece up I cannot, I do not have that many hands, but you can kind of get the gist here and it would create a mystery picture. These are great to laminate and that way you have them forever and they're really easy because it's super easy cutting. Um, easily send home with a parent and they can cut them out for you as some volunteer work, right? Um, we also have puzzle pieces. So I've made editable puzzle pieces they kind of look like this, um, where there are different edges and shapes and um, curves. And so your students will, um, you first, you will type in the problem on one and the answer on the other. 
and then your students have to be able to match them up. So then they know that the answer is correct because they found the right answer, they've got a match, and then they can move on to the next puzzle piece. So friends, I'm telling you, the, the days of searching for the best math centers or the math games are long gone because now you can make your own. So make sure to check out the link in the video description below and go learn more about these amazing editable math games. I just know you and your students are going to love them. If you have any questions about them, let me know. I'll be happy to help and stay tuned for another pencil talk. Bye friends.